Hi, this is Elisa. Hey, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Connect. And this is also the first of a few training sessions to help you get started using Connect in the fall. Now remember, fall won't be or Connect won't be available until the fall. So this summer you're stuck with the old Connect. All right, the first thing you want to do is make sure you get to the website connect.mcgrawhill.com. And once you are there, you will log in with your new account that you were given. Now, a few months ago, I had Cherie set up accounts for all of you, and I emailed you to let you know that she was doing that. And then you should have received an email with your account information. Now, go ahead and check and search your GCC mail, Maricopa mail email account, and see if you got that information. If you got it, then go ahead and log in with the login information that was given to you at connect.mcgrawhill.com. Make sure you're at this new site and not the old site. Now, once you sign in, you will um, see obviously something that looks completely different. You can see here that it's different color and so forth. Um, and I've already have I already have a couple of courses set up, but I want to quickly show you how to set up a course. So go ahead and click the Add Course button. Now I know a lot of people are having trouble actually choosing the correct book. So go ahead and start by choosing the subject, which is English Composition. So once you choose English Composition, you will get several book choices that will pop up. Now none of these book choices look like the one we are actually using, but this one here, the McGraw-Hill Handbook, is the book that we will be using in both the 101 and the 102. Now don't confuse that with your paper textbook that you have students buy. That's the McGraw-Hill Guide. That's a completely different book. The handbook is what we get online for free in addition to the guide that students buy. So go ahead and choose the McGraw-Hill Handbook and a writer's resource by Maimon. And then go ahead and type in the name of your course. So I'm going to teach an English 102 course this summer. And again, I can't use this for the summer. I'm just practicing right now. And I want to go ahead and type in my section number, which is 14256. And I'm going to go ahead and put a English 102 in front of that. Okay. And if I wanted to copy any of the assignments from a previous course, I could do that. But since this will be the first time that we're using this for most of us, um, I was just piloting, piloting it in the spring. So I don't really have any assignments that I want to bring over. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Create button. And now I have created my first course. Now this is what's really cool about this, is you get this message that you can then print out or make a screenshot of this information that you will give to students. Now what's really unique about this is this URL is all that the students need to have. As long as they buy their code from anywhere online, they can even purchase it after you give them this URL. And let's say I don't really like this URL. Maybe it's too long for me. I'm going to go ahead and edit this address. And I just I want to take off the A because there's only one Cooper, right? There's only one of me. And um, I just want to take out, and I'll leave that in there. So I want to leave it here. So now they have my name, the course, and the section number. And I'm going to save that. Now all I have to do is give my students this URL. And they will be able to then access my course. They can't go wrong anymore like they used to because now, once you give them that URL, this is what they see. They see the course, they see your name, they see your picture. If they don't see any of this, they're in the wrong spot. And then all they have to do is click register now. And then after they've registered, of course, they will just log in over here. So they get this personalized URL for the course and, um, you know, they can't get lost anymore like they used to. So once they click register now, if they need to buy online access, they can do it right here. And um, that's the, it shows them how. But if they just click the register now button, it'll walk them through the process of buying, purchasing it, or adding in the code that they've already purchased. Okay, so now that I have my course set up, I can go ahead and click to continue to to my section home. Now if I have more than one section, obviously I can set up the first one and then copy all of the assignments into the sec second one. So my second training webinar will be on how to add assignments. Right now I just want to make sure that you can understand how to your course. So here you can see I have added ENG 102 and then the section is 14245. If I wanted to add another section I can do that just by clicking duplicate the course or add a section. Okay so that's it for now. I hope that was helpful and go ahead and get started.